Hey guys, Miranda Patron here with you to do a little review of some more paints from Arteza. I have their premium acrylic metallics here, which are amazing. I'm super excited. It's a set of eight. They're water-based, heavy body, glossy finish, and quick drying. Look how thick and delicious this is. They have mica in them, so they're super shiny and reflective. And I'm going to do a couple tests with them tonight. Alright, here's my little heart-shaped stone. I just want to make it look bronze, so I'm just going to paint it without any additives to the paint to see how it looks. And it's going on really easy. I just have a flat brush here. And it goes on nice, even. Look how shiny it is. And this is just straight out of the bottle. Really, really easy to use. Goes on nice and smooth, super reflective. I'm kind of loving these. So I waited a couple minutes and it's already pretty much dry. So it is quick drying. You can see it's glossy, shiny. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of the flow medium in this pot with the paint straight out of the bottle. And usually it's about a one-to-one -one ratio depending on the flow medium that you're using. So this is going to thin your paints. So I just keep it in a bottle, a squirt bottle that's easy access so that I can just pour it in there. If you want to measure that's fine too. I generally just eyeball it. And then just use something to mix it up really good and distribute it all evenly. So I've done this in the past with other metallics and they've lost their sheen, their shine. But this is so rich. Oh look, it's already it's thinning down nicely and it's still really rich metallic. All right. So that passed that test. <laughs> so I've thinned it out enough that I can use it for dotting and swipes now, which is generally my area of obsession. <laughs> But look how creamy it is, and I didn't. it didn't take long at all. I didn't pause the video and just mixed it up quick like that. Alright, so I'm going to use some of the more popular dotting things out there. This is one of the acrylic rods, flat on the bottom, and it's. we're going to see how it dots. Well, it's pretty smooth. So it does have a little bit of a blub in the middle, but that's common with the acrylic rods anyway that I've found. <laughs> um, so let's go to a dotting stylus. So these are the plastic and wood ones with the ball on the end. And mine are just bent because I bend them. That's just my thing. So I can see where I'm dotting and I find it just a lot easier to use. But you can see you can just walk out the dots pretty easily here. Now let's see a couple swipes. Oh yep. I just drag it on out there because it's a good consistency for the paint. But see, it didn't take much effort to get it to this point. And they're still super shiny. Alright, go with my brushes. Just the Princeton Angle Spot Detailer. And dotting is still very easy. Let's try a couple swipes with this. And you can see it, it just smoothly, evenly pulls out and it stays a good thickness so there's not, the opacity is good, you're not seeing through to the paper. But yeah, it's great. So let's just dot along here. You can see how many dots too you can get using a paintbrush as opposed to the dotting tools. That's just a little bit of my thing too. Alright, so let's see, it's straight out of the bottle without any of the flow medium. I just want to show you the difference in what your dots are going to look like when you use this. So it's heavy bodied. So this is the thing that I've been trying to tell people with dotting. If you don't want it to have peaks or get uneven, see this, this is with the flowing medium, this is without. So it's thick. It's gonna not going to move on your tool, but it's also going to make like 
it's even sticking to the paper, but see it stays on one place, it's a little heavier, the peaks are harder to gauge where it's going to go, where that center is. So I did try this at another point on my own, and I tried smoothing it out with a brush, but then I just dotted it over with, with um, after I mixed it with a flow medium. Alright, so see how heavy it is? It doesn't come off my dotting tool. It's not moving at all. Which is okay. It's just this is what the heavy bodies are going to do. So it dots fine. There is a little peak. You probably can't see from that angle, but there's a little point at the, each of them. So some people really like this with their dotting. They like to feel the points. Alright, so it's not going to drag a swipe out as far, but Probably you could do them short little petal-like ones. Yeah, like little raindrops. And it is like a thicker little drag dot. So it's just a different shape. It's not bad, it's not better, but it's just thicker. So it's a little more challenging to work with depending on what style of painting you're doing and what tools you're using. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it work with my brushes. I tend to not work with the heavy bodies unless I thin them down, but all well, the dotting is alright. Not too bad. I'm sure my swipes are going to be a little... So you can see it's thinner because the paint doesn't spread out as much. They're skinnier. The paint is not thinner. The paint is thicker, but that's a little more of a challenge for me to work with. So it would take a little effort to work with, but it's doable. So these are, this one was the marmalade, the pearl marmalade, which is pretty awesome. Alrighty, so now I'm just using a flat round, a flat acrylic brush. And I just want to show you, this is painting with it while I have the flow medium in it. So this one is actually the gold, the Aztec gold. And I'm just doing some designs here on the side of a tea light holder made out of plaster. So you can see the plaster is not absorbing it. It's just the paint staying nice and thick and easy to put on with a brush. But still, even with the flow medium, it was nice and rich. Alright, so now I'm using a large acrylic rod and the paint straight out of the bottle. I didn't do my test until after I had done this, so, but this is just to show you from the side how with this type of dotting tool it gives you that little peak because they are heavy bodied. They're nice and thick and rich. It's just a different look depending on what tools you're using. So this one is just a straight up gold. Let me just zoom in here and we'll show. Alright, so I just took a brush to these because I don't like the big big peaks. <laughs> so I tried to flatten them out a little bit here just to see if that would help smooth that dot down. So then I decided to just mix it with the flow medium. So this is the gold. And you can see the difference. It's a lot easier to put down with a tool. Flows right on there. And this is with the dotting stylus. but it doesn't lose any of its luster. It's still super shiny, the metallics, they're great. Okay, so again, this is the gold with the flow medium in it. And you can easily just do some swipes
And it does take a little getting used to to see how far you can drag out the paint with each tool, but I promise you'll be learning it in no time. You can also practice on a paper and then just measure it to give you an idea when you're starting out. All right. So now I'm just going to grab my brush here and kind of fill in some of the spaces. But this still has the flow medium in it, so it is a little it spreads a little easier. So I think for dotting and swiping I definitely would thin it down a little bit. But it's these are great paints. I'm really excited that I'm getting a chance to test run these. So you can see how nice and shiny, even with mixing with a medium, it didn't lose any of its luster, richness. They're glossy. I didn't even put a varnish on this yet. It's got a nice glossy shine. And that one was the gold. So these are the paints. This is what they look like. It's a nice little set. And you get large tubes. I mean, you're getting 120 milliliters. So it's like just over four ounces. And this was my completed piece. Mostly I used them around the sun, the mandala here. I did use some of their other metallics um, for the blue in the legs. And I did thin those down as well. So I hope you liked my little segment here on these paints. I will definitely keep using them. I love them. Thank you so much, Arteza, for letting me give them a test run. And as always, I'll post links in the description for you guys so you can check them out for yourselves. All right. I miss you all. Take care. Hope you're doing well, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great night.